Friday at 7 o'clock, and we are live from the ITV studios in London. Coming up on tonight's show, Mel B's bark is worse than a bite in I'm a Celebrity, Get Out of My Ear. Little Ants and Dead hang out with the biggest movie star in the world, Jennifer Lawrence. And Craig David sends us out with a boink in the end of the show show. Plus, for one night only, your star guest announcer, it's me, David Tennant. But first, true facts. He once invited Richard Bacon round, then hid behind the curtains till he went away. That's Ant McFarlane. He likes his bacon smoked and his brown sauce not red. That's Declan Donnelly. It's Ant and Dex. Tonight. Have a seat, are. everybody. Sit yourselves Sit down. down. It's great to be back with you. I hope you've all had a great week. We've had a very interesting week. Did you see the papers this week? We made the papers this Did week. Did we? We made Did the we? papers. Ant and Dec amongst celebs that women most fantasise about. <laughs> 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 Hi. Hi. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> According to a survey, we came sixth. Sixth! I have to say, that's pretty good. And as I always say, those tabloid surveys are 100% reliable. You do say that. I do. He does say that. Do. He says that. Who be just said, come on, was it the usual? Johnny Depp, Brad Pitt, George Clooney, come on. They didn't on. even make the list. Really? Really? Who be us then? Come on, tell us. Which hunk of man meet be us? It's not really important. <laughs> it's, well, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's really 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 who be us? Come on, who be us? Come on. Come on. David Cameron. Yes, David Cameron. Evening, Prime Minister. <laughs> <laughs> you sexy beast. <laughs> like I've always said, those tabloid servers are 100% reliable. He does say that. I always, do say, say, that. That. I always say that. We have our star God. guest with us this evening. Mr David Tennant is here, ladies Yes! Thank you, David. Thank you for coming on the show. Very good to be here, boys. Can I, uh, sorry, can I just go back and just check, check one thing with you? Check one thing. Ask away, David. Ask yeah, away. in that survey where you two were found less sexy than David Cameron, <laughs> um, the thing that's been bothering me is, is that you two were in there together. <laughs> so that's women are fantasising about Ant and Dick <laughs> at the same time. David, you know what they say? The double act that plays together stays together. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to ask, David? Yeah. Can we just <laughs> please get on with the show and never speak of this again? <laughs> okay. That's totally a good, good idea. idea. He's here all night. David Tennant! Yes! yes. Last week, we sent four secret sofas to four mystery locations, and to celebrate Mother's Day, we asked everyone to bring their mums, and the winning mum was brought to you by the letter H. It's Helen Hutchinson from Hartlepool, and that's her winning mum with her daughter there. Lovely. What was her reward? Well, it was a prize money can't buy. It was the best seats in the house! <laughs> Hi. 
go down there to find our sofas, our daughter Libby. Hi, Libby. <laughs> Hi. Hiya. Hey, well and the done. rest of the family there too. The day's husband and two 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 sons. Yeah, two is. sons. Lovely God, to tell us so many of you. <laughs> Thanks for Lovely coming. To see you. Slightly abused the guest list there. Yeah, you did. Just a lot of Helen and her hundred guests have the best <laughs> Saturday night. It's the gorgeous Ashley Roberts, everybody. She's right. Like... <laughs> ah. What have you got lined up for Helen and the family tonight? Well, Helen, we know you love a takeaway from your favorite Chinese. <laughs> so we've arranged for the Chow Key Chop Suey <laughs> outside <laughs> the to drive oh, wow. 200 <laughs> Actually, I have to say, 268 miles. Let's hope they haven't forgotten the prawn crackers. I hate it when they forget <laughs> the prawn crackers. I hate it when they forget prawn crackers. Now, this week on Sofa Watch, we're going to mix it up a little bit. Mix it up. It's mixing up so much that we've got rid of the sofas. Yes. Yes, we have. As you can see, we've still got our four mystery locations, but this time, we want you to bring the furniture. Let's take a look at the locations then. Location one. Looks like we've got some kind of skate park there. Skateboard ramps, is that? I think it is. Uh, location number two. That looks quite medieval, man. That looks like a castle. Medieval litter bins. Yes, hand two, two lovely bins. Uh, very clean. Oh, look at three. Three. That could be anywhere. It's Astro to a football pitch. Could be anywhere in the country. And number four. Pretty hard. That's, they're all pretty hard this week. If, you, if you can carry your own chair to any one of those locations. <laughs> 7.45 tonight. And if you're 18 or over, you could be sitting in the best seats in the house on next week's show. All the details on the websites as ever. And only one chair per household, please. Thank you. Now then, everybody, I'll let you into a little secret. Every week before the show starts, we do something that gets our audience excited and in the mood for a good time. That's right. And after they finish their half a glass of warm Lambrini, <laughs> the warm-up begins, all led by this guy, our warm-up man, the publicity shy, Andy Collins. He's there. Everybody. He's as good as he is. Both of them. Both of them. Now, I'm here. I'm here. Warms up the audience every week, half an hour before we go live. Such a shame that our audience at home don't get to see because you do a very good job. In fact, let's should we show you. Let's, this is this is tonight's warm. Let's show a little bit of Andy warm up, warm up tonight, shall we? Let's take a look. Take a look at him. Warm up tea. There we go. That's done. That's our and his pomp and ceremony. Warming them all up there, doing a very good job. And he got them dancing. Look at him. Look at him. He's a big unit, isn't he? Um, <laughs> good audience tonight, Andy. One of the best audiences we've ever One had. One of the best. We were watching. <laughs> we were watching as well. Um, take a look at this guy. Have a look at this guy. So Just taking a run VT. That's Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Having a good old dance to himself. <laughs> look at him, he's singing along. That's the one of Justin. Well done, Justin. He was good. good work. It takes he a brave man to wear that colour top, but you're pulling it off. He's pulling it off. He's pulling it off. Yeah, we were backstage. <laughs> we were backstage watching the whole warm up. I particularly like this guy. I thought he was amazing. Look at Stefan. Look at Stefan go. Go on, Stefan. <laughs> Stefan, you've got some moves, He's my man. He's got it. You've got some moves. He's like, yeah, no, I have. Yeah, I yeah, have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really cool. Not a shame, yeah. not embarrassed. He's a star, though, isn't he? He's oh, a star. They're, they're all stars. stars. They're okay. all stars. But you know what? We have one absolute, actual, bona fide star, superstar in our audience tonight. That one person who was singing their heart out earlier on, I can't actually believe that she's here. It is you, Joanne Stewart. Oh. <laughs> what? Don't swear, Joanne. Don't swear. Now, it's such an honour to meet you. I am a massive fan, <laughs> such a big fan, and I loved your incredible rendition of Let It Go from the warm-up oh. earlier tonight. <laughs> Do you want to see it? Should we have a look at Joanne in action? <laughs> it's yours. I can honestly say I've never heard anyone sing anything like that in my life. <laughs> but the thing is, I'm not the only huge fan. I think oh. you'd better come with me, Joanne, oh, as we so play bad. Joanne Stewart, <laughs> Secret Superstar! <laughs> Huge round of applause. It's me, the one and only, Joanne Stewart, everybody. Come on, lovely. You all right? Yeah. Don't be afraid. Come and sit there for me. 
come and sit. I cannot believe we have you on the show. <laughs> I can't can. believe... I'm so excited. <laughs> All of the other Joanne Stewart fans, or Stewie, <laughs> Stewie to give us our proper name. Yeah. No, you're not just a global superstar. You're also a hairdresser at the Leopard Lounge Salon in <laughs> Uxbridge. <laughs> Knows that kind but, of fact. but singing, singing really oh. is your first love. So much so <laughs> that you've got a karaoke machine installed in the salon, haven't you? Yeah. You've got that in there. <laughs> you sing non-stop. You sing in the car. You've recorded two whole albums worth of material in the last fortnight alone. Your first album, which I loved, this one, right. Joanne Stewart, Star in a Car. Oh my God. <laughs> No, all killer, sorry. Wrong <laughs> <laughs> way around. Wrong way around. And you didn't know this, but we have got some exclusive footage of the recording sessions oh, that made no. up this classic album. <laughs> Have a look at this. Oh, that's so DJ. DJ. I'll be the DJ first. <laughs> It's like having <laughs> warm honey poured into my ears. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I love that first album. I love it too. I love it. It's like you're in the ear flick, I have to say. But, yeah. but lovely, <laughs> lovely nonetheless. Now, unlike most artists, you haven't struggled with that difficult second album, have you? I mean, you delivered <laughs> oh, solid yeah. gold in the shape of legendary songs from the salon. Oh, no. See that? <laughs> the shows of the salon. Let's just remind ourselves of some of your classic cuts. Oh, well, thank <laughs> Hello? Better play that set. Another one. Another one. Bite for this. Hello from the other side. I think I'm probably asking one about a few. I've got two bad for me. Superstars, Joanne, you can sing, you can dance, you're the full package. Full package. You're the full package. And as us Stewies know, the whole world is going crazy, crazy <laughs> for your rendition of Sweet About Me. Oh, Isn't no that right, Joanne? The world's going crazy for it. They, li they love know. it. They love it. They love it. You're being modest. <laughs> you're being, she's being yeah, modest. She's being modest. She's being modest. Being modest. You know, fine, well, that Stewie mania is sweeping the nation. But listen, <laughs> don't take my word for it. Have a look at this. Oh, my God. One with me, Scott Mills. Yes, Scott Mills. And next up is the girl who is totally climbing the charts right now, taking on Rihanna, slaying Beyonce. It's a name you need to remember. It's Joanne Stewart. Adele, look out. There's a new talent in town. It is, of course, time for the first ever play of Joanne Stewart. Sweet about me. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Sweet about me. Nah, I don't think anybody was able to do that song as good as Gabriella Chilmi, but she absolutely smashes it. She nails it. It's amazing. I play it every single day in the car. Oh, my God, I love this song. I love this song. It's singing in the summer, I think. Summer, like the vibes. Yes. <laughs> You're going to be hearing so much more from this lady, Joanne Stewart. Tally. You're phenomenal. Now, get me drunk. The, now, the one thing <laughs> that us Stewies all around the world are crying out for, one thing we're desperate for, oh, no. is a live performance. No. Yes! Yeah. A live performance. Yeah. 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 We've got it all 
all set up for you. Come on, come on. One of the tracks off your own. One of the tracks off your own. These are the songs that we know you know. How about this one here? Bleeding Love. Bleeding Love. A bit of Bleeding Love, everyone. We've got the words, oh, all right. Come on, you we can do it for you. You know you want to do it. Go to the microphone now. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, with our first ever live TV performance, the one and only, Joanne Stewart. One global superstar. Two classic albums. And over 4,000 cut and blow drives. <laughs> Joanne Stewart! Those from the love, I didn't need the pain. Once or twice, there's no, and it was all in vain. Time starts to pass before you know it's frozen. Uh, Joanne, like, like any superstar, it's time for you to start your first world tour, courtesy <laughs> of OnTheBeach.com. You're offering a seven-night all-inclusive luxury holiday to the Greek island. Let's go back to our star guest announcer. What is coming up, David Tennant? No, 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 no. Never mind what's coming up. I am coming down. How often do you get a chance? to get a selfie with Joanne Stewart. It's <laughs> <laughs> on. I'll do it. Still look at right now. They're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then, get your selfie. Get your selfie. Come on, man. There it is. Still here. Thank you. Welcome back. You some of my takeaway. Shoot! Get out of here. Get out of here. We're we live. live. We're live. As you can tell, Mel B has us doing it here in a little while. A little Latin deck with Jennifer Lawrence. Now we've come backstage to say hello to the star tonight's end of the show show, Craig David. There he is. Yeah, there he is. Oh, David. Now, Craig, we're just wondering what you're going to get us to, to do at the end of the show show. Mm. Sorry, boys, but this one is a little bit beyond you. It's not really your style. That's the how, thing. I'm how dare you, Craig David? It can be our style. We've danced with diversity. Okay. We used to be PG and Duncan. Some of our music was rap. Okay, okay. Hear me out. <laughs> the only way this is ever really going to work, you're going to need one of these bad boys. That's cool. That's cool. Does that work for you? Do that, yeah. Hello? Hello? Oh, There's nobody there, Craig. There's nobody there. Okay, okay, cool. Hello? Right. Listen, let's keep it simple, nice and easy. Do what these guys are doing down there, and we'll be good to go. Guys, catch an all-nighter. Ah, paint my beats rock. 
Mitch looks stupid there, doesn't he? Uh, looks stupid there, doesn't he? Uh, 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 come on. Hello? No. Go back to Come on. Deck, what are we going to do? We're never going to have time to learn how to do these for the end of the show show. We're never going to learn. Yes, yeah, still relax, relax. You know, we've got four whole ad breaks to practice our moves, haven't we? OK, then. Look after that, Muscles. You help me. Very weak. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's just check in with Helen Hutchinson from Hartlepool and our Chinese takeaway. Helen, how are you getting on? Yeah. All good? Yeah, she's on you. Good Chinese. Lovely. The great, great yeah. Chinese. So there, there, this week, let's check in on this week's mystery locations and see... <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> right, location number one. We've got a, we've got, we've got a very tall girl and a very tall store. Oh, yes! Yeah, another one! <laughs> two. Another three. That's the one with the skateboard. Uh, location number two. Yeah, well done. Look, loads of different chairs you've got there. Stools. We've got camper, uh, camper stool there. Uh, location three, the football pitch. Hi, everybody! They've done well. They've, They've done, done very well. well. Oh, a, a Welsh flag, flag in number three. A Welsh flag. Is that Is a clue? That a clue. And location number four. Well, look at this lot. 21 chairs. And location four. We've got lots of camper chairs there. A couple of stools there. We've got a, a dining chair there. Keep the chairs coming. We have, we have had a few chances turning up, haven't we? We have. Well, someone came with um, a pram and a push chair. That's not allowed. <laughs> oh! A car seat. You're not allowed in a car seat. <laughs> it's to be a stool or a chair. Four, four legs and a back. So, That's yes. what we're saying. That's if you can make it down there with a chair by 7.45 tonight, you could be sitting in the best seats in the house on next week's show. Time for a question now. What is under four feet tall is on the telly on a Saturday night and recently learned how to write Join D up? <laughs> I'll smash your face <laughs> in. Oh, in oh, a minute oh, more. Oh, Ladies oh, and oh, gentlemen, oh, it's time for their first mission of the series. It's Little Anton Deck! <laughs> <laughs> Come and have a seat, boys. It's but, lovely to see you. This is your first mission of the series. Um, we, so let's catch up a little bit. How old are you now? Nine. Nine and? Eight. Eight. Nine and eight. When are you nine? 29th of May. Put that in the diary, Anne. I'll put that in the diary. Good. What do you want for a present? You want a present of us? Something yeah. nice? Yeah? Hold yeah. on, something. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. I bet you do. Uh, what are you doing for work at the moment, guys? We're working for you, Sally. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yes, that's you right. are. Yes, and you are. you've become very famous now. Mm -hmm. you do, you're getting lots of autographs. Do you do a lot of selfies now? Yes, a lot. A oh, lot, yeah. do you? Do you? Do you? Have, have you got a selfie face? Yeah. What do you, what do, you do? Nice. That's good. That's, have you got one? Have you got a selfie look? I'm getting too many. I need to pay. I need to get paid for them. You need to get paid for them. <laughs> How much? How much? Five pounds for an autograph. <laughs> yes. £10 for a picture. Yes. Yeah. £20 for a selfie. 20 quid for a selfie? <laughs> well, I haven't got £20 on us, but can we do a selfie? Should we do Should one? Should we do a selfie? Let's see a selfie face. face. Get in. Let's get in, get in, get in. <laughs> yeah. We'll tweet that. I'll, try, I'll tweet that. We'll tweet that later. I'll tweet that. Well, later lads, later. it's nice to have you back. Let's see what happened when these two had a bite to eat with the stars of the Hunger Games. <laughs> It's Big Island in Deck. Hello. Hi, boys. Listen, we've got a brand new assignment for you, and this one's a biggie. We want you to meet the most beautiful woman in the world, Jennifer Lawrence. A girl? Oh! All right, there'll be a couple of boys in there as well, but we need you to show them some good northern hospitality, right? Don't worry, we've got this covered. Hold on. Why aren't we meet the most beautiful woman in the world, Jennifer Lawrence? Because Tuesday is spa day. <laughs> Welcome to our car. Oh, thank you. thank you. It's really nice. I like what you guys have done with the place. You've been in four Hunger Games. What are your favourite games to play? We, we, like to play, we like to play this game. It does you look at the circle, a, a you get punched. punched the arm. So somebody will try to trick you to look at him. See, you can't look at it. Uh, oh, you know, I yeah, look. I look too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Good at the game. Whoa. Oh, no, no, wait, on. hang on. If, if no, I, I can put it. my finger through it and you don't catch it in time, then I punch you twice. But yeah. if you catch my finger when I put it through, 
You can punch me three times, okay? Ready? <laughs> Jennifer, in the film, you are really, really tall. Are you even tougher than these guys? In the film, I think so, but... Proof. Huh. All right. <laughs> Two against one. <laughs> Yay! Oh. We win. We win. Right. We win. Jennifer, my dad falls over every time he goes to the pub. Is that why you always fall over at the Oscars? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Dad's not in high heels. Does your dad wear high heels? Always in high heels at the pub? No. <laughs> we want to play the home. Games, okay? Ooh, okay. Fantastic. All right. We're in. The Hungry Games. Name the food through taste alone. Round one. Pork pie. Oh, please be kind. Pop. Wait, <laughs> what is it? Pop, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> guys, oh, sit, guys, sit, guys, sit. You guys, sit. All okay, right, it's, Me? um, it's yeah. pork pie. Yeah. Yeah. It's hey, really delicious. Guy. Round two. Spotted dick. <laughs> no! Oh, 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 what is that? Take that. Take this. And eat it. Come on, come on. Oh. It was, it was um, spot spotted muffin? No, it's, it's a, like a swear word. <laughs> spotted dick. Yeah, yeah, and it was just with cream. Oh, it's cream. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming to our cuff. Absolutely. Thanks. Thank you for that. Thank you guys for that cream. I didn't get one. I'll come to you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done, boys. Thank you for looking after them. And you're very lucky getting to hug the most beautiful woman in the world. Uh, let's see, I think we've got your selfie as well now. Can we see the selfie? Oh, there, there you go. go. There you go. There's your selfie yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's go back to our star guest announcer. What do you think of Jennifer Lawrence, David? Well, 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 what can I say? I think I speak for every red-blooded male in the country when I say that after watching that, I really, really fancy a pork pie and some spotted dick. Do <laughs> <laughs> you see what I did there? Still to come, the boys drive Mel B barking mad and I'm a celebrity, get out of me here. Yeah. And Craig David gives us more bunk for our bucks in a spectacular end of the show show. See you after the break. Welcome back to your Saturday Night Takeover where we are live. Still to come. Mel B and I'm a celebrity get out of me ear. Bob, it's very funny. It's a good one. It's a very good one this week. Stay tuned. But week. before that, it's time to give away some more. Cabins on the cruise. On the 2nd of April, we're hitting the high seas for an incredible series finale. Live from Britannia, one of the biggest cruise ships in the world. And courtesy of PO Cruises, you could be joining us. You'll sail away on a two-week Mediterranean holiday. Stopping off at ports in France, Italy, and Spain. This amazing trip includes cabin accommodation. With your own private balcony. Plus, you'll enjoy a spa experience. And receive an exclusive cookery masterclass from top chef Mark Lopier White. Not only that, you'll be a VIP guest for the most exciting episode of Takeaway ever. As our entire show comes live from the deck of the ship in Barcelona. Ship ahoy! <laughs> Titanic. I like it. Very Titanic. At three weeks tonight, we'll be on that ship. And this week, we're giving you at home the chance to win those cabins on a cruise with something brand new. This is.
Uh, yeah, we get, we, thanks, we get the idea. We get, what, what? We get the what? idea. I was enjoying it. First up on Read My Lips, there's a lovely wee boy all the way from Scotland. Please welcome David Tennant. <laughs> Time for anything. Oh, Come and sit down. Just just be those here. Come and sit down. And let me explain right. how this works. Don't be nervous. We're all rooting this for This is you. very comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Here's how I read my lips. <laughs> from, from, oh, <laughs> from, from thousands of applications on our website, we yes. have selected <laughs> six lucky takeaway viewers to join us live from across the country. There they all are. There they are. There Each of them has a list of words, all of which are items you'd find on a typical takeaway menu. Okay? All right. Your job is to repeat what they're saying, but there's a twist. You won't be able to hear them because you'll be wearing these headphones. Oh, so right. you'll have to read their lips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, get it, we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it. We, we have got 30 seconds yeah. per player. If you get one right, they get 250 quid. Get two right, they get 500 quid. Get three right. And they get 500 quid plus they win a cabin on the crew. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. All right. When, when each player's timed up, you'll hear this noise. Shut it. And we'll try and get through as many players as we can. All right. Oh, you've got them on. Got them on. Already. Yeah, put them on. Put them on. That's good. Right. Let's find. Oh, it's go. loud. It's, it's loud. loud. Yeah, it's very loud. Okay. So are you? Yes, yeah, so are you, Ashley? <laughs> the first ball, please, with the number on. Yes, I'm ready. Woo! <laughs> It's number six. Number it's six, number deck. six. That's Vicky Flowers from Oldham. <laughs> All right, Vicky. Right, very best of luck. Vicky David's got his headphones on. Here we go. Get ready, Vicky. We want to read your lips. Here we go. Cheese. Cheese. Chicken. Cheese. Cheese. Stop your blow long love. <laughs> Stop. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Che cheese. Oh. Burger. And prawn crackers. Oh, I nearly got that yeah, one. Well, I'm afraid. We can't, we can't, we can't get all oh. take well. Let's select our next headphones back headphones on. Let's back select. On, Sorry, Vicky. Please, Ashley. Ready? Yes. Oh, yeah. Woo! I got it. Oh. Got it. And it is number three. Number Dick, three that? is Ratan Singh from Newcastle. Oh, Good luck. You got 30 seconds. Let's try and get that cabin on the cruise. Let's read your lips. Kebab. Don't look kebab. Yes. 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 You've got 500 pounds though, Rata. Well done, pal. Well done. Well done. One more time, one more One more, one more, one more. Come on, one more. Come on. Ash, quick. Quick, fire it off, fire it off. Oh! oh. Quick, quick, throw the ball back. Here we go. What number is it? Oh! <laughs> it's number four. You got it there? Number four there? is Vera Allen from Leicester. Come on. Hello, Vera. You look fun. Right, Vera, 30 seconds. We want to read your lips. Off you go. Chicken curry. Yes. Yes. Re the spring roll. Yes. 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 Something and chips. Fish and chips. Yes. Yes. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Well done. You, you're gone. 
You've gone on the cruise. Congratulations. <laughs> We've got the whole family there now. Oh. Well done. And, and Vera, you get that 500 quid as well. We will see you on the cruise in three weeks' time. Well done. Th sorry, Anthony, Haley. Good work. Oh, and like there's that. loads more cabins on the cruise to give away this series. Just go to these websites to be in with a chance of winning one. Now, a lot of you have been in touch with us on our Facebook page asking, where is the takeaway photo booth? Yeah, you have. You've been in touch. Well, tonight is your lucky night. Here's what happened when us two took the photo booth to a theme park to give away free passes. And let's just say it definitely wasn't a pretty picture. <laughs> Welcome to the personalised VIP Fast Track ticket machine. Please enter the booth. Inside, out, and round and round. Oh, dear. Welcome to the personalised VIP ticket machine. Do you want to have fun at the park? Yes. How much fun do you want to have? This much! This much! Yes. Would you like a queue jump on your tickets for £10? Yes, please. Yes. Touch your credit card on the machine. Your credit card has been charged. Would you like to pay fifty pounds for a brochure? No, thank you. Great. You've been charged fifty pounds for the brochure. Excuse me. It's been a bit of an issue. Would you like to take part in a virtual reality roller coaster? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Great. Put your hands in the air. You're a roller coaster. It's getting faster. Do it low. Why do you speak sick? <laughs> <laughs> do you have a twitch? I don't have a twitch. <laughs> Please make a noise like you're really enjoying the ride. Whoa! Yeah! Now a noise like it's getting a bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you think of the rides in Thor Park. Stealth. Great. Colossus. Probably good, yeah. Shut your face. Is that all right? No, I just want you to shut your face. <laughs> Would you be interested in taking on a challenge to win a free pass for the park? Yeah, of course you do. Don't blink for 30 seconds. something to dry yourself with. Yeah, please. Here it comes. <laughs> Would you like an arm slap to get me out of your experience? Yeah? Yeah. Great. <laughs> Just take on your own Bush Tucker trial. What do you want me to do? Eat it. For more passes, just eat more bugs. <coughs> Do a drink. Here's a drink for you. <coughs> okay, look straight down the camera. Let me take your photo for your pass. In three, <coughs> two, <coughs> one. <coughs> Who took part? Let's go back to our star guest tonight. So, what's going up, David? Well, still to come tonight, Mel B raises the roof in I'm a Celebrity, Get Out of My Ear. And Andy Deck could be in a spot of hover in the end of the show show with Craig David. See you after the break.
could be winning a huge pile of prizes and win the odds. <laughs> and hopefully, we can join uh -huh. Craig David for the end of the show show. But I'm not really hopeful at the moment. Can I get off? Um, I... You should be really good on this. Why? Because I... I'm getting off, I'm getting off, I'm getting off. You won't know this, but I bought, actually bought an, a hoverboard for Christmas. Yes, and, yes, you did, you did, you did. Why aren't you better on it? Well, I haven't been on it since the first time I used it, because you know what happened the first time I got on it. I do know what happened the first time you got it. I actually filmed it the first time you got on it. <laughs> Would you like to see I'm on the hoverboard? You don't, you don't, you don't, do you want to, you want to see that? Let's have just a very quick look. Why is that working so much? It was the dog ball. It was the dog. The dogs. Put me off. Dog. Put me off. Uh, <laughs> end of the show, show coming up. I'm not hopeful. Uh, <laughs> let's say hello now to the latest star of I'm a Celebrity Get Out of Me Here, joining us live from Los Angeles. It's Mel B! <laughs> Hi, Mel. <laughs> Mel. It's lovely Hi. Hi. Looking lovely. Lovely to see you both. Are you excited about seeing this one? I'm actually really nervous because I did so many silly things that <laughs> you two made me. That's, that's, that's right, that's, yes, we did. In fact, this is what happened, everybody. You see, a bunch of dog walkers were told that Mel was looking for someone to look after her four-legged friend. But the whole thing was a shaggy dog story because they were about to star on the latest instalment of I'm a Celebrity. Get out of me! <laughs> Mel, do you promise? say everything we tell you to say yes I promise everything <laughs> everything okay <laughs> yes okay good luck the first one's on the way okay what have I got myself into <gasps> that frightened me <laughs> take the book with your mouth and the pen okay so you say hello and welcome them in Nice to meet you. I'm Mel. Hi. What's your name? Sarah. Then just write your autograph. Best to get this out the way with yeah. first. Here you go. Let's get that out the way. Autograph from me to you. Autograph from me Thank to you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, have a seat. Come and have a seat. I'm splitting my time at the minute between LA and here. I'm kind of splitting my time at the minute between LA and here. Sure. And I want somebody to look after the dogs. I need somebody to look after my dogs. Basically, we walk dogs. Cool. Cool. We have five dogs per person. Cool. So cool. we do that service too. Cool bananas. Cool bananas. <laughs> Just point at her <laughs> and go, cool. <laughs> Small time business. Cool. <laughs> Stop. Carry on. Carry on. So basically, that's what we do. <laughs> when you answer the door, say, hi, I'm Mel B, the greatest Spice Girl of them all. Hi, I'm Mel B, the greatest Spice Girl of them all. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Sangeeta. Sangeeta. Come on in and have a seat. Come and have a seat. I do sort of follow you on TV, you know. I am good though on TV, aren't I? I am good on TV though, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, I'm really good. I'm really good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Are you going to continue in music at all? Or? What do you think I should do? What do you think I should do? I think presenting, definitely. You don't like me singing? Is that what you're saying? So you're saying you don't like my singing? No, I'm not saying that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just sing that. So, um... Yeah, 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 yeah! Fantastic. <laughs> when you go to shake his hand, say, Give Paul good boy. Paul. Paul. Good boy. <laughs> Paul, I'm the claw. I'm the claw. I'm now. Just a little dog joke. That oh, was just a little dog joke I did for you there. <laughs> come on in and have a seat. Yeah, come and sit down. So you're just looking for someone to... Dog sit and look after the dogs. All right, is there any specifications or anything? Yeah, loads of specifications. Yeah, there's lots of specifications. All right. <laughs> well, you, do, you want to let me know? <laughs> <laughs> what, are you in a rush or something? <laughs> are you in a rush? No, no, I'm not in a rush at all. <laughs> Relax, I'm not going to eat you. Relax, I'm not going to eat you. 
Do you like my poster? Do you like my poster? I love it. Do you want to scribble on it? Do you want to scribble on it? Really? Do something to Victoria. Yeah, do something to Victoria. Put a moustache on her. Put a moustache on her. <laughs> She's got one in real life anyway. She's got one in real life. I don't know if Do you want to get your phone really quick? Yes, please. Pat her on the back. Oh. Honestly. Give her a bit of massage. Ah. Oh. Do you mind this? Do you mind this? No, funny enough, I had a massage yesterday. That's it, just keep working on the knot. <laughs> she looks stressed. You look a bit stressed out, is this good? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> just ring your bell. That's my man's servant I'm calling for. I'm calling for my man's servant. Oh, yes, yeah, she did a servant. <laughs> This is Raisin. This is Raisin. Raisin. She farts a lot. This one farts a lot. Yeah, they do these little ones. I nicknamed her Jerry, cos Jerry farts a lot. I nicknamed her Jerry, actually. Oh, Just yeah. Jerry farts a lot. <laughs> That's the kind of thing they don't tell you on TV, is it? <laughs> Just grab the lead and just say, I want to test your lead walking skills. I just want to test your lead walking skills. Yeah. What would it be like taking them for a walk? What would you do, like, taking the dog for a walk? Right, we're going for a walk now. You excited? He's <laughs> bigger than that. Is he a bit bigger than that? Is he? <laughs> All right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> we sort of walk towards here. He's not allowed in there. <laughs> it's not allowed over there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a glass of water? Do you want a glass of water? Yes, please. Yes, please. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go. Thanks for that. Grab your ball there, Mel. Have a little drink. <laughs> <laughs> Get your ball. I'm parched. That's it. Do you want to meet the dog? Do you want to meet the dogs? Please! Yep. Louis! Louis! That's not the dog, that's my manservant I'm calling for. That's not the dog, that's my manservant I'm calling for. Oh, here they come. Aww. This is Wiggy. This is Wiggy. He loves wigs. He loves wigs. <laughs> Look at the red carpet there. You see this red carpet down here? Instead of a catwalk, it's a dog walk. You don't like a catwalk? It's a dog walk. Say hello to the girls. Hi, girls. <laughs> Say hi to the girls as you walk past. There's Emma. There's Jerry. There's Mel. There's Emma. Jerry. There's Mel. And there's the other one. And there's the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Louis, put some music on. Louis, put some music on. I'm too sexy for my love. Right, Mel, you go and join him with him. Love, love, do what I do. Do what I do. Are you holding the dog leads? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing doggy yoga. We've been doing doggy yoga. Doggy yoga. Let's try some. Do you want to try some? Okay, go for it. Let's do it. All fours. Start off like this. <laughs> I mean, you do. A couple of barks. <laughs> Go on, you do it. <laughs> Take your head up. And hold it the moon. And you cock your leg and you're having a wee. And then line your back and you kick your legs like you're being tickled. And then you line your back and then you put your legs up in the air like you've been tickled. <laughs> I've got another couple of pedigree dogs I'd like you to meet. I've got some more pedigree dogs that I want you to meet. Come on, bring it down. Here we go. Just in here. Mel, Mel, you did. 
You did doggy yoga. You dished out I a did. massage. You drank from the dog bowl. So I many know. awkward moments. <laughs> what was what was the most awkward moment of the day for you? I think definitely when it, when you made me drink the water from the doggy <laughs> bowl. Because I'm like, oh my god, I've never done this in my life, and it's now on on camera. I was like, seriously. But you know what? I had so much fun doing the show. I wish I could do it every single week. I love awkwardness. I love being silly. <laughs> you did true. And that I moment, fun. that moment you were giving her a massage, the dog walker a massage. She didn't want the massage. You didn't want to give the massage. <laughs> it was a very awkward moment. But you did it. Oh, well, my God. She would have done anything, wouldn't she? You yeah, would have done anything. You would have, wouldn't you, very, very good sport. You were up for anything, weren't you? I was up for anything, of course. <laughs> you guys are great. I love your show. You're brilliant. Oh, thanks, Mel. Oh, thank you very much. You, thank you. And brilliant. I'll tell you what, Mel, in the studio tonight, we've got all of our dog walkers. Thank you, guys. There they are. Oh, hi, guys. Brilliant, brilliant sport. Thanks very much. I do all we couldn't have done it without you, Mel. Absolutely tremendous. Let's hear it one more time. From now me, everybody. Thanks, Mel. Bye. Bye, Bye lovely. Um, Helen is still up in the best seats in the house. All Hi, going I'm well. Here. Got the whole gang up there, yeah. all going well. But who will be sitting in those very seats this time next week? Well, let's reveal our mystery location. Whoa, look! Look at this! Look at what we've got now! Okay, then. Okay, in location one. Location one is Swindon, just behind the Oasis Leisure Centre. They're doing a wave there. They're doing a wave. That's, That's not a Mexican guys. wave. That's a Swindon That's wave. That's a Swindon wave. <laughs> We've got lots of different kind of chairs there as well. Loads of people. Location two, have you spotted that one? It's, it's Newark in Nottinghamshire in the grounds of Newark Castle. Hi, guys! It's very formally, that, isn't it? Very formally. Yes. I like it. Yeah. Uh, let's go over to location three. Uh, that's Wrexham, the Glindor University Sports Centre. Hi, everybody there. Hello, Wrexham. Hi, everybody. Everybody's got a little chair there. And, of course, location four is Letchworth Garden City in Hertfordshire at the Broadway Gardens. Look at them lot! Hiya! That is amazing. All there with their chairs. Everybody who got down there with a chair by 7.45 was given a number. Now it's time to reveal who's coming here to be sitting in the best seats in our house next week with the supercomputer and Ashley. Thank you, guys. All right, it's time to reveal tonight's lucky location. Good luck, everyone. Wrexham! It's Wrexham! Wrexham, it's you! There we go, look. <laughs> I can see a lot of different <laughs> chairs. We've got a kid's chair. chair. Look at this. There's a chair down the front there. And look, we got the look at this. That's a stool, isn't it? That's like a, that's like a computer stool. Or right. Loads of different chairs. We need a number, though, Ashley. We need a number, please. You Get need your numbers a number. Ready. All right. Good luck, guys. Here we go. Woo! 14. Number 14. 14. Who's number 14? Get there he is. Come on, here. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> what we got? Yeah, put your chair down. Let's have a look at your chair. It's a, it's a deck chair, isn't it? Oh, no, it's a garden chair. It's a garden it's chair. It's a garden chair. We What's his that? name? It's Chris Green from Wrexham. Well done, well Chris, Chris. Green. Well done, Chris. And I'll tell you what, Chris, let's hope you dress a little bit smaller on the telly next week <laughs> than you did this week. <laughs> pull your pants up, you tramp. Pull, pull your yeah, joggers up. Pull, pull your joggers up, Chris. Pull your, pull pull your, your pants joggers up. up. Uh, thank you very much. Go, oh, there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. I, I, can I, say, I thought they were coming down for I, a minute. I, though, I, though, I, I did. I thank you to all of tonight's sofa searchers. Thank you, guys. Thanks for coming. We really appreciate it. You all go home with one of these badges. There we are. I found the secret location. That's going. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you next week, Chris. They're off, look. There we are. They're away to catch the end of the show, show. Yeah, Let's go back to David Tennant. David, what did you make of Sofa Watch this week? Brilliant. It had literally everything except a sofa. Yes. Uh, still to come <laughs> is Craig David in the end of the show, show. You can boink on it. And if you want to be in with a chance of winning a cracking prize, take a look at this. Here's another chance to win this massive competition prize. First up, there's a staggering £30,000 in tax-free cash. We'll also fly you and three guests to Universal Orlando Resort in Florida, where you'll have access to amazing theme parks and stay on site at Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort for seven nights. Ah, to make sure you're holiday ready, we're also throwing in two iPad minis, luggage and micro scooters for your little ones. Plus, you'll win a cabin on the cruise. If you can make it, you'll be a VIP guest on our series finale live from Barcelona. And enjoy a two-week meditation 
Mediterranean cruise departing on the 27th of March. To win all of this and the £30,000 cash, just text WIN to 61888. Text costs £1.50 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09041 61988. Calls cost £1.50 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to SNT1602. PO Box 7558, Derby, DE1, 0NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. All entry routes close at 5 p.m. on Thursday, the 17th of March, and you must be contactable between the 18th and the 21st of March. Welcome back live. It's Saturday night takeaway still to come. Craig David stars in the end of the show. Show hopefully with us too, if we can master the hoverboards in time. How long we got? Ten minutes. Ten minutes? Yeah. That's good, that's good, because I thought we'd be in trouble there. We've got ten minutes. No, we've got ten minutes. That's doable. Austria. But before all that, though, it's time to win the ads! <laughs> Who here wants to win a lot of, lot of fantastic prizes? <laughs> I'm glad to hear it, because it's trying to give one member of this audience the chance to win the contents of the ad breaks from last night's final episode of Mr Selfridge. Ah, oh, it's a shame it's come to an end. Dramatic end. It really is. OK, it's time to reveal who's playing win the ads with the help of the fickle finger of... We'll get you mic'd up. There's a bit of confusion there. Sorry, love. It was one behind you. <laughs> Jess, let's, let's see what's up for grabs tonight. A brand new Kia Rio SR7, courtesy of Arnold Clark, worth over £11,000. £10,000 from the Quaffin Van, straight into your account. Two upper class tickets with Virgin Atlantic to an international destination of your choice, including Las Vegas, Barbados, and Shanghai. A sofa and footstool from DFS. And a full sky package for a year plus a 42 inch HD TV. Also tonight, a seven night family break at any Haven Holidays Resort. An American style fridge freezer from Ben. 12 months car and home insurance from Admiral. £1,000 to spend at House of Fraser. A weekend break at any Premier Inn Hotel in the UK. A £500 pamper hamper from Bert's Bees. VIP tickets to the Speakman's How to Be Happy Tour. Plus orange juice, nappies, crisps, and anti aging cream. Hello. That's the prizes, that's what you're playing for. Jess, congratulations. Thank you. She just said to me, you never think it's going to be you? Never think it's going to well, be that you. that woman in the audience thought it was going to be her for a second. <laughs> Sorry, love, but I'm afraid it was Jess. Uh, me. Who are you here with tonight, Jess? My sister, Laura. Hi, Laura. <laughs> Hi, Laura. There she is. And what do you do? I'm a teacher. A teacher? What, what age? What age kids? Uh, Six-year-olds. Six-year-olds? Tiny. Oh, brilliant. What, what's the class that you teach? Classics. Classics. Come away. Straight down the camera Hi. there. Hi, Classics. <laughs> Hi, Classics. Now, all those prizes that we saw there, Jess, could be yours tonight. Fingers crossed, OK? Good luck. Good First, luck. though, we're going to cover them over. Let's cover them over, shuffle them up for us, oh, and give them all a number. There we go. Now, none of us know which prizes are where. Now, we're going to ask you as many questions as we can in 60 seconds. All the questions are taken from this week's news. Get a question right, pick a number, and the prize behind that number could be yours to take away. OK. You know how this works, Jess. I think so. Let's put you in the spotlight <laughs> okay. for the moment. We will put 60 seconds on the clock for you. There's your 60 seconds. Good luck. Thank you. Your time starts now. Okay. Which type of eclipse occurred in parts of the, uh, of the Asia Pacific on Wednesday? Solar or lunar? Solar. Yes, pick a number. One. One. An yes. Orkney Book Club was surprised by a visit from which famous author? J.K. Rowling or Nick Hornby? Nick Hornby? No, J.K. Rowling. Okay. Lady Gaga raised money for charity by swimming in which American lake? Lake Erie or Lake Michigan? Michigan. Yes, pick a number. Eleven. Eleven. A British artist created a giant image on an alpine mountain based on which TV show? The Walking Dead or Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones. Yes, pick a number. Sixteen. Sixteen. Which British singer is reportedly considering running for London Mayor? Paul Weller or Morrissey? Morrissey. Yes, pick a number. Seven. Seven. Which Premier League club is having a tower block near its ground painted in the team colours? Arsenal or Southampton? Southampton. Yes, pick a number. Yes. Uh, nine. Nine. <laughs> this week has been British what week? Pie or burger? 
burger. No pie. Oh. Which item of Queen Victoria's clothing is to be put up for auction next month? Her knickers or her corset? Corset? Her knickers. Oh, nice. <laughs> David A has petitioned for which famous boxer to receive an honorary knighthood? Don't you still answer? Was it George Foreman or Muhammad Ali? Muhammad Ali. Yes, pick a number. Ten. Ten. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Yes. Six questions correct. Which means you've got six prizes. And I like the way you've covered the board a bit there. I know. You spread around <laughs> a bit, spread you? them around a bit. But of course... A, uh, there's a lot of yeses as well. Yeah, I know, Southampton. Southampton. <laughs> a Southampton question. Oh, of course. You've, you've got Southampton. lucky there. Good. OK, good. Uh, But, of course, we've got no idea which six prizes you've got there. That makes your next decision a difficult one. Yes. You're going to decide whether to stay with the prizes you've won or play for a chance to take away all 16. We'll ask you one final question. The wrong answer means you lose the lot. The right answer, though, means you take away everything. It's okay. a tough decision because we don't know what six prizes you have there. We're going to show you at home exactly what Jess has won so far. So if you're playing along at home, uh, look a win now. Here are the prizes Jess has won. <coughs> that's what she's got so far. OK, that's the prizes that she's playing with. Let's take them down so you can look back. Now, remember, we don't know what they are. The audience here in the studio don't know what they are. Most importantly, Jess doesn't know the six <coughs> prizes she has at the moment. Should she stay with the six? Should she play on? What do you think she should do, everybody? Stay up there. What do you think? Where's that? Your sister. Where's your sister? Your sister's playing. The same play. Laura's same play there. <laughs> Let's cross off with David Tennant. David, what do you think she should do? Read my lips. <laughs> <laughs> Read my lips, play. Well, listen, Jess, that's what everybody else thinks, but it's not up to them. It's not even up to your sister. Oh, it's up no. to you. What are you going to do? Are you going to stay or are you going to play? Play. She's going to play! <laughs> right. <laughs> For the first time tonight, let's see what you had already won. <laughs> OK, Jess. Oh! oh <laughs> the sofa, they have home with the fridge freezer. Ten grand cash! The sky pocket, and you had the upper-class flights to anywhere in the world. Wow. Some good prizes you had good there. Good prizes really there. Really good prizes. Oh, fingers crossed. But you've decided to play. Now, I have to ask for absolute silence in the studio from here on in, and we have to accept your first answer, Jess. OK. Take your time. OK. Good luck. Here's your make-or-break question. It's the 125th Crofts this weekend <laughs> and the 2016 best in show winner will be announced tomorrow but what breed of dog won the title last year Gosh. was it a scottish terrier or a poodle take your time best in show is tomorrow night but what won it last year what won crofts last year was it a scottish terrier or was it a poodle oh uh, i want to say poodle <laughs> Gonna say poodle. 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 Don't know. Guess. Poodle. Yes, guess. Jess. Ooh. It's the wrong answer. Oh. Oh, yes, come here. Come here. Come here. Before you go, before you go, let's do it. Let's do it. A sad face, selfie, Jess. We've got to try and do it here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> There we go. We got it. We got it. Sorry, Jess. It's on the big screen. Thank it's you. Oh, it's a bit blurry. <laughs> we'll do that on there. Okay. I'm so sorry, for <laughs> Jess, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Jess. Thank you. What a shame. What a shame. You could be here trying to win the ads next week if you get in touch via the websites where you can also nominate someone for a cabin on the cruise or to take part in the show in any way. Back to our star guest announcer. What's coming up, David? Still to come tonight. Ant and Dick think it's all hover with Craig David and a fantastic end of the show show. See you after the break. To Saturday Night Takeaway. What a night it's been. We've had Anton Deck in Mel B's ear, the stars of The Hunger Games, and the world's biggest game of musical chairs in Sofa Watch. And now, to see us out in style, please welcome Craig David in the end of the show show! <laughs> Faded, faded, ooh yeah. As if 
Good moves, boys. They're back live at 10 past seven next Saturday. Philip Schofield is back with a brand new series next this evening. You're back in the room is before Glenn Close and Gillian Anderson are on the Jonathan Ross show later at 9.30.